The judiciary has been identified as a critical stakeholder in the development of local content and participation in Nigeria's oil and gas industry. It's for this reason that the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board organized a workshop for judicial officers in River State with a focus on the regulatory framework guiding the sector. Senior correspondent Uchoko reports. All functions of the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board revolve around improving local participation in the oil and gas industry. The board was established by the Nigerian Oil and Gas Industry Content Development Act 2010. The NCDMB acknowledges that the ability of the judiciary to properly interpret this law is necessary for achieving its mandate. It is important that those who dispense justice understand the philosophy behind the law. It helps in better interpretation of the provisions of the law and brings clarity. As the Chief Judge, my Lord, the Chief Justice of uh, the Chief Judge of River State highlighted in his uh, uh, Goodwill message, the role of the judiciary is basically to interpret the law and interpret it in a manner that gives meaning and helps the court to fulfill the purpose for which a particular law is enacted. So it is through this type of engagement that proper understanding of the very essence of the law is brought home. This is a capacity building workshop for members of the bar and bench in River State. Judicial officers are of the view that it would add value to the state judiciary given the volume of oil and gas related cases that come before the court. Given the near total dependence of the Federation on proceeds and rentals from oil and gas exploration and exploitation activities, the intentment of the act is laudable and commendable. It offers us a guaranteed freedom from new colonialist economic dominance through gradual and continuous development of our indigenous capability in the oil and gas industry. The benefit of this workshop to judges and justices and judges of the courts in River State are indeed enormous because River State is one of the oil producing states in Nigeria and there are many local national and multinational companies engaged in oil and gas operations and services in the state. <laughs> After 13 years of its existence, the NCDMB says it has increased Nigerian content level to 54%. By raising awareness on the act, the board believes it can keep the statistics of local participation in oil and gas on an upward trajectory. Uche Okoro, TVC News. Port the Babcock University has held its 12th doctoral hooding ceremony at its campus in Elishon Remo, Ogun State, southwest Nigeria. About 164 doctoral graduates concluded their program at the university after pursuing various courses for the 2022-2023 academic session. Senior correspondent Sharon Jason reports. The management of Babcock University Elishan Remo in Ogun State staged the Uden ceremony for 164 doctoral graduates who are expected to make impact on the society based on the research thesis and studies. Olutaya Shokunbe presented the 164 candidates to the Vice Chancellor and President of the University, Professor Tayo Ademola, the school management and the public in 12 batches. You will be inducted into a society of scholars with curiosity in learning and researching, as well as the potential to be a game changer in any society you find yourself. In his address, the Secretary to Ogun State Government, who represented Governor Dakwa Abiodun at the event, implored them to look beyond academic achievements and lead meaningful lives through entrepreneurship. It would be nice to look at you guys five, ten years down the line and let us see how many of you can say, look, I have at least one person that I'm employing to come and run the study. Remember your the brilliance extends beyond your academic achievements. It lies in your ability to lead meaningfully, meaningful and fulfilling lives. Do not live here without our private company representing the Babcock brand. Pay the presentation. Can you know when you graduate from the day you join? 
In his validatory speech presented by Kristen Asonye on behalf of the other doctorate graduates of the 2022-2023 academic session, they expressed readiness to make a difference in the society. The present social economic situation of our country presents challenges that are in no small measure require citadels of higher learning to develop human capital with appropriate disposition for service service. The upper echelons of any organization determines the fate of that organization, specifically in terms of the education, in terms of the culture of the organization. These are things that result as thrown up. Undergraduate and postgraduate students of the institution who have completed their courses are expected to be conferred with various degrees at the convocation ceremony at the weekend. Sharon Jackson, TVC News.